This is the HP Compact Pro 6300, a neat desktop PC from 2012 with lots of upgrade options. This is still my main computer today in 2024, and I've just recently made it more powerful with a newer graphics card. Right now it's in sleep mode, so let me wake it up and show you what it's running at the moment. So here is macOS Sonoma on this HP Compaq. We have a notification up there. Get more from Mac. Let's see. Just teaching you how to use this OS, I guess. Organize your desktop by automatically grouping files. Private browsing. Taking a screenshot. Quick look. Sharing documents and more. Well, some of those features are on older macOS versions as well, so could be helpful in case you didn't know them. Here's the information. I showed it waking up from sleep mode to prove that feature works. Although in my testing, sometimes it wakes up automatically and then goes back to sleep after a minute. It does this every hour or so. So if you're not using your computer for a while, I recommend shutting it down instead of putting it to sleep when using Hackintosh. And there's the new graphics card I installed, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. This is pretty much the most powerful graphics card you could put on a computer like this, because it doesn't require additional power from the power supply. It runs entirely off the PCI Express x 16 slot. And although I've been impressed with this video card, it's a huge upgrade compared to the video card I had before an NVIDIA Quadro K600. It's a little disappointing on macOS, because since around 2010-2011, Apple ditched NVIDIA for its graphics cards and started using AMD, even though they only used Intel for their x86 CPUs. Still got the Core i5-3470, and I maxed out the RAM to 32GB, 1600MHz DDR3, which sounds slow compared to DDR4 or DDR5, but for the age of this computer, you can't do much better. So we can see a little more info here. To get this OS working on this computer, I found someone's files for the open core bootloader. But those files were only designed for macOS Monterey and Ventura. So I updated those files, decided to try Sonoma, and found that it worked. To get the graphics card working, I had to use the open core legacy patcher. After installing the OS, I just did the post install root patch. The patch for this graphics card is called NVIDIA Web Drivers, and they were only officially supported on macOS Sierra and High Sierra. With OpenCore Legacy, you can get them working on a newer macOS version. Although not Catalina, that's what I had installed before. I downloaded and installed OpenCore Legacy Patcher, and this button was just grayed out. That's what convinced me to try Sonoma. And I have to make it clear that we're not using OpenCore Legacy Patcher for the bootloader in this computer. To set up OpenCore for this Hackintosh, we're using regular OpenCore, not OpenCore Legacy. So if you have a video card that doesn't need this patch, you don't need OpenCore Legacy Patcher. As you saw here, the Mac model being spoofed is an iMac Pro from 2017. And I had installed Sonoma version 14.0. With a little modification to the open core bootloader I did, I was able to upgrade it to 14.5 directly from the system settings app. And although this root patch adds back video acceleration, it does not add support for the Apple Metal graphics API. So blurred elements on the screen are a little glitchy sometimes, but at least they're smooth. And while we're here, we can probably tweak the um, appearance of the menu bar because the text up there is barely readable. Or I could change the background, but there is a setting here, dark menu bar. Now we can log out. Log back in. And I forgot about a bug in this computer. If I log out and try to log back in, it just freezes. It's already 10.59, but the clock up there doesn't update. I can move the mouse. The thing is spinning down there, but the beach ball is frozen. This happened to me before I had to reset. 
So now I can show you the startup process. But it did apply the change anyway. Now the text on the menu bar is dark, so it's a lot more readable. And if I start the screensaver, I set it up on a hot corner here. You can see it's moving pretty smoothly. And one thing I did not notice when I was trying a Mac OS Sonoma or my 2009 MacBook Pro is that when you end the screensaver, it slowly stops, like it's breaking, which is kind of cool. Because metal acceleration doesn't work here, some updated apps don't work either. For example, iMovie. I just downloaded the latest version from the Mac App Store. Try to create a new movie. It seems to work for a while, but when I access one of the settings, it crashes almost immediately. And rather surprisingly, Caden Live doesn't work either. This is the latest version right now. It shows a splash screen and then it crashes. Maybe the newer Mac versions rely on metal as well. Because last year I used Caden Live to edit a video on macOS Monterey on my 2009 MacBook Pro and it worked, so I'm not sure what's wrong. Also, another program here, Upscale. It uses some artificial intelligence mod to upscale a picture and try to recreate the detail. When I had the Quadro K600, it only worked on Linux and it was really slow. It took like 15 minutes to do a low resolution picture. Now with this GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, it's super quick, less than 2 minutes, either on Windows or on Linux. But on Mac it doesn't work because the Mac version needs metal. And that's about it, really. I will provide the link to download my open core files with instructions in the description. You just set up a USB flash drive partitioned with GOID partition table, and then put the open core EFI files in the boot partition. You need to already have some knowledge with Hackintosh and open core, because even with someone's files, it's a bit of a complicated process. It's a bit of a shame that you can't do much with it without the metal API, even though it's super fast, but hey, it was worth trying. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And let's do a graceful shutdown this time.